guys, Luke here from the Gamers Buzz here to show you how to make a Windows Form application, open up another Windows Form application using three things. One of them is going to be a button, a checkbox, and a radio button, which I can't get to right now because it won't let me scroll down, which is kind of annoying. So I'm just going to name this Tutorial Button, just like that, simple as it. Um, first what we're going to do is we're going to need another form. But let's just make this look a little bit nicer. And let's name this button, or actually tutorial. And the way I did that was I just went to the properties tab over here while selecting my form one, and I put the text as tutorial, and it appeared up here. And I'm going to make it so show icon equals false. So that way it didn't show an icon. First thing we're going to add is that button. We're going to show you the button first. And this button will be named Open. And my form is a little bit too big for that little button. We'll just open it right here. And I hope my dog does not bark. Uh, so what you're going to do next is you're going to go up here to add a new item. Hit Add Windows Form right there. And name it. Let's just name this one Button Open. Just like that. And now that that's there, um, hit show icon false. I'm just going to do that and name this button. So now we've got two forms you can see. Form one, we've got the button. And for open, let's double click the button. And notice we've got this. We're just going to, this is the easiest part. Button open, which is what we named our other form, dot show. And then hit enter gives you two parentheses which is basically to end it and when you hit debug you notice your little open button opens the new form and next we are going to add a checkbox so let's add this checkbox and name it or let's make the text say open again and add a new item or add a new Windows form. Not a new item, I'm sorry. Name it checkbox. Not open. Or actually underscore open. And once that's done, I'm going to make it show I can't see the icon. And I'm going to make this checkbox. Really simple. And let's double click that and hit checkbox open dot show. It's the same code for everything. I'm just going to tell you that ahead of time. So when you hit open, and you hit open, you've got three windows up. Now, notice it's you got a quite a few windows up, and you maybe maybe you don't want that much windows. So what we're going to do on button open, the form with the checkbox in it, we're going to add another button. I'm just going to make it in the top corner, and hit, and now I'm going to name that close. I'm going to double click close and. I'm going to type in end, just E-N-D, E-N-D, perfect. So now that that is done, we are going to go to, what, what, what form is that? Uh, checkbox open. And we're going to add a radio button, so scroll down until you find your radio button, and put that there, and hit open. So, once that's done, it's a little bit big. a little bit big. Actually, I just remembered <coughs> you're going to have to add two radio buttons. Make this one named omit, which means don't you just basically don't care about that. And add another radio button. The reason for this is because when you start up that form, it's going to automatically want to be on a button. And if it's already on the button that opens in another form, you want to get to see this form. So, I'm just going to name this one open <coughs> and add a new item or add a new Windows form, I don't know why I keep saying that. And I'm going to name this radio, or rad open, for radio button. And show icon equals false, and radio button. Just like that. And next, let's go to the radio button. And name this, whoops, what did I just get on? <coughs> Where, okay, there it is. So double click on the radio button that's called open and type in rad 
open dot show just like that that's your code um, so when we debug this we're going to hit open 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 and there you go you've got three or you've got a bunch of forms now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of the close button on this and I'm gonna put it on the last one and I'm gonna name this I'm gonna add a button that says close all windows just like that and once that's done the code you're gonna add in there is the same as the other one which is end so when you go and debug this hit open 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 and close all windows we'll close them all and there you go that's that was a simple tutorial on how to make another form open uh, another form in other words uh, thank you for watching and remember comment rate subscribe do all that fun stuff uh, this was actually for beginners so I don't really expect more elite people to watch these videos as as I once as I just said it's for beginners so thank you and goodbye